Okay, so now we're going to take the data that we've collected and we're going to create a new Google Sheet for it. So we're going to highlight the entire table. Try that again. And then copy. So I'm just doing a Command C or a Control C. And then I'm just going to go and get a new Google Sheet. And I'm going to take that Google Sheet and I'm going to paste the table that I copied right here in the first square. So that's a command V. Okay, so now that I have my uh, data pasted in here, I'm going to make sure that I change the name of the spreadsheet to natural selection data. And I'm going to share this link. And it's really important that when you create the link that you change this to anyone at Pacific Ridge can view the link. And you can maybe even change it to edit or comment so I can make a comment on it. And then you're gonna copy the link, go back to your Google Doc, and down here below, it's gonna ask you to paste that link in. So that's where you would paste the link. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is to create a chart. So you're going to go in your Google Sheet, you're going to highlight the whole section, and you're going to insert a chart. The new chart, once it comes up, is probably not the one you want. But over here, you're going to be able to change it from a bar chart or a column chart to a line chart, which is what we want. Now that we have a line chart, we're gonna customize it because we need to be able to give the chart a title that's meaningful, because right now the title is red, blue, yellow, green. That doesn't make any sense. We're gonna workshop together in class what a meaningful title for a chart should look like. Then you can also go and use these tools to give a name to your horizontal axis or your x-axis. So you're gonna tell the viewer what this information means down here by giving it a title. You can type that right here. And then you're also gonna give the y-axis or your vertical axis a title and explain what these numbers represent. So your chart or your graph needs to be labeled and titled properly. And then the last thing you might notice is that my red line isn't actually red. So we're gonna change the colors to make sure that they match. So if you click right on the line, you'll see over here it says blue with a red dot. And I'm gonna come down here and change this from red to blue. And I'm gonna go through and do the same for all of them. And for white, if you want, you can just change the white one to like a light gray color, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to make sure you ask me in class.